Mini episode 1299 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.com. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Hello and welcome to FDH Lounge Mini Episode 1299. I'm FDH Managing Partner Rick Morris here with our weekly preview of Fargo Season 4. Here's our top five notes of interest heading into Episode 4.8. Number five. Now Deppy is squeezing Otis as well. Surely he'll handle that just fine. If Deppy had anything solid, he'd already be using it, so he doesn't loom as an imminent threat to the dirty cop, but he's formulating a case. No wonder Otis tried to leave town, unsuccessfully of course, so there's a long way left in this story. But given the way that Fargo's seasons always end, one way or another, he'll pay a price and most likely suffer a lot more on the way to that. Number four, Orietta gets more reckless when she gets her proof on who narked on her. Last week she offed another patient, notwithstanding being under the microscope, but this week she may have nuked the microscope altogether when she poisoned Dr. Harvard. Granted, she made off with the incriminating letter, but how does she think she'll escape scrutiny for this latest crime? Or is she so far over the edge that she doesn't even care? If she feels that she's got nothing left to lose and she's on one last crime spree for old time's sake before the walls close in, look out. And yeah, regardless, look out Ethel Rita. Number three, the bank robbers are heading out of town, not uneventfully. Loy is getting them out of his hair, intending to send them east, but this week's preview indicates that it won't go smoothly. Otis will be at the train station when they try to escape, as will Deffy, and it's clear that there will be bloodshed. Like the Orietta Ethel Rita storyline, it's unclear how this will tie into the end game of the mob war, as this season uniquely has many different balls in the air, but it's likely to produce the highest moments of drama that we've seen so far this season. Number two. Loy manages to channel Dr. Senator under extreme pressure, anger, and sadness. Josto's lie that Constant killed his son was just the capper for a week of all the worst sensations, including residual grief over Doctor that was quite evident, and the realization with the diner's card that the white world had taken his idea from him. Of course, before you feel too sorry for Loy, consider that he annexed the funeral home after loan sharking them, but that's another story for another day. His decision, in the end, to turn Gaetano loose as a chaos agent in his own family, only after telling him that Josto was trying to get him killed, may be the master stroke and equalizer that his outman side needs. Then again, it sets up the dangerous Gaetano to get the last laugh, so the mastery in this writing is that it could easily go either way. Number one, in that patented Fargo moment, Josto blows up the piece. Whether it's Lester in the elevator in season one, or Dodd Gerhardt provoking KC in defiance of his mother's wishes in Season 2. We always get a moment when events could be pulled back from the brink, but for the stubbornness of one person. Here, Josto had a deal that would have ended the gang war, but he couldn't trust that New York would back him over Gaetano, so he blew it up with his lies. Of course, he was too clever by half, which will come out soon enough. But he's ensured now what we've known all along, there is no turning back, Somebody's got to win this war, and somebody's got to lose it. But with action like this, certainly the audience counts as winners also. Thank you for joining us for this mini-episode of the FDH Lounge.